literal shapes. <coughs> shapes with faces on them. Shape people. Many years ago, I discovered I had an ability. You're a raccoon who can talk? The ability to contact shape people who had died. Their souls trapped for- Sorry. I am a medium between the world of the living and the dead, but only for shape people. People who are literally large, flat, conscious shapes with faces on them and nothing else. Okay. This is my story. That would be terrifying. No, you know what it reminds me of? That Doctor Who episode, remember, where that woman is just a stretch of skin? Moisture! I need moisture! moisture. Yeah, and she's just like a flat piece of skin that's all that's left of the human race. This button... Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I think this is just... Uh... It is a network of tubes and shapes people travel through to get places because they do not have arms or legs. <sighs> what? They're, They're just shapes. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Boop. Boop. I pressed it. Hmm. Okay. The shape people. Hello, I am Pentagon. Pentagon have five star sides and five corners. Yes, hello. Good to meet you. Indeed. I am here because I need you to contact my beloved and recently dead friend, who is Circle. Yes, you heard me. A circle. <laughs> You might wonder how someone with such an aband abundance of sides could be friends with someone who has none. That's not true. Circles have infinity sides. Idiot. It was a lot of work, but the circle finally understood the true superiority of sides and angles. Oh, you sure showed them. And thus, they also came to understand the true truth of their own inferior shape. What? <laughs> I see. You sound, you sound like a terrible friend. I would not expect you to understand. You, too, lack sides and banners. The reason I need to contact my dead sideless friend is because of a locked door I have discovered hidden behind a bookshelf in their old library. I would like you to ask them where I might find the key to this door. Can you do that for me? Can you complete this simple task? Sure, sure. I can do that. Very good. I have brought me with me a personal item of theirs. A book. That is all you need to contact them, correct? A personal item that they owned? Yes, that is all I need to summon a dead shape ghost. Good. Here's their personal item. Let me know when you know the location of the key. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, like, where do we go? This is my summoning altar. I use it to summon the ghosts of shape people. Shape people are the only people who seem to turn into ghosts when they die. Sometimes I worry that it's because non-shape people like myself do not have a soul. I think a lot about my own death. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? Summon the shape ghost. Whoa. Awesome. Hey, summoning looks pretty fun. Du, du, du. Looks like a good time. Yeah, it's like techno. Hey. Hello, I am the, I'm a circle. But I'm sure you knew that. I wasn't expecting to be summoned today. How interesting. May I help you with something? A friend of yours hired me to summon you. They found a locked door in your old library and would like to know the location of the key. Hmm. Which friend might you be referring to? A pentagon. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, my friend. This guy thinks his dick. Did they tell you all about the glory of angles and sides? Did they explain in great detail the perfection of their holy pentagon form? Please tell them that the key is hidden inside the old wall clock that hangs on the other side of the library. Do you know what is behind the locked door? A canister of toxic gas rigged to spray anyone who goes snooping around where they don't belong. Tell that pentagon that the great treasure hidden inside the rooms are theirs for the taking. 
<laughs> Thank you for your information. Actually, there's one more thing. H have you happened upon any crescents during your time in the realm of the dead? No, not that I can remember. Crescents are fairly rare as far as shapes people go, so I'm sure I would recall having seen one. Ah, well, thank you anyway. Wouldn't that be great for an office? <laughs> Just... A summoning circle? Yeah. Have you discovered the location of the key? It's behind the wall clock on the other side of the room. Ah, oh, yes, I know that clock. You have completed your task. I shall submit payment to your fee through the Shape Network payment system. Good day. I suppose we could have chosen to warn him, but... No. No. Well, my work for the day is done. Time to go home. Or I could just sleep at the office. Hmm. I think I still have some ramen at home. If I get home and I don't have any ramen left, I'm going to be all torn up about it. There was no ramen! Time for another case, I suppose. All I need to do is push that button. That's all I need to do. Shall I press the button and send in my next client? Press the button! Beep boop. Here we go. Yes, hello. I am square. Four points and four equal sides. It is very easy to remember what a square looks like, and at ease it can be a small comfort in hard times. What a lovely office you have. It's like falling apart. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I believe that I have made the right choice coming to you. I can tell I can tell already. The reason I am in need of your service is that I very much want to send a message to a departed friend, a rectangle. We were very similar in many ways, as you might imagine. Not just in shape, in spirit as well. Oh, what a good friend they were. What a very good friend indeed. What message would you like me to give them? Oh yes, the message. I would like to tell the rectangle. Tell them that I still think they very dearly of them. Okay, I will let them know. Wonderful, thank you so much. Here is a personal item of theirs to assist with the summoning. It's a letter I wrote many years ago telling them what a dear they, dear they are. They framed it and put it on their nightstand. And they wrapped a bow around the frame. Do you think he's a stalker? Probably. Thank you. This should work. I will let you know when the summoning is complete. I'm so nervous. I hope they still think dearly of me. Or maybe they're just both totally into each other, you know? Yeah, maybe. Time to peek behind the veil of death once again. Shall I summon the dead shape person I need to talk to? <laughs> Sorry. This reminds me of like a song you would hear in a little video game. Wow, I've been summoned. How thrilling. I love your coat. How wonderful to be summoned by someone with such a delightful coat. For what purpose I have been brought back into the world of the living? A friend of yours hired me to give you a message. A friend? Oh my! Was it my square friend? They seem to like. They seem. This seems like the wonderful sort of thing they would do. Yes, it was indeed your square friend. Oh my God! I'm so excited. What was the message? They want you to know that they still think very dearly of you. Oh my God! Yes. Yes, hooray! Wow. Can you relay and reply for me? Can you tell them that I continue to think very dearly of them as well? Uh, sure, I'll go and let them know. <gasps> oh my god, thank you! <laughs> They're just, like, super into super each other. Super super into each other, just, like, best friends. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> did you tell them, oh my, what did they say? I am so excited to hear. They continue to think very dearly of you as well. That's amazing news! <laughs> I knew it, my soul, but I'm so happy to hear it. Can you do one more favor? Can you give them one more message from me? Sure, what is the message? Can you tell them 
that I am certain we will be dear to each other uh, forever. Can you tell them that for me? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much for your help. I'm so excited for them to know that I how I feel. It's like they already knew, but... I know, <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's a little crazy. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Wow, hello again. Did you find my square friend? How did my square friend react when you told them about my continued darkness? Dearness. They are certain your mutual dearness will last forever. Oh. No, we probably shouldn't say that. It might end up being weird. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god, I feel the same way! <laughs> Tell them I feel the same way! Sure, we will do. Oh, uh, one last thing. Do you know any crescents in the realm of the dead? Crescents? No, I, I don't think so. Why do you ask? Just looking for someone who I... Uh, never mind. Oh, I wonder if it's someone he... He loved. But he would have one of their things to summon them, right? Maybe... Or maybe they're lost. He doesn't know if they're dead. Well, look, right there. Yeah. Angry Crescent friend. Yeah. How did they react? I must know. They feel the same way. This is the happiest day of my life. Thank you so much for all your help, friend. I will send your payment and tip through the network. I hope you have a wonderful week in life. Man, if all customer service jobs were like that, can you imagine? I find. I find no satisfaction in my work anymore. Although I'm not sure if I ever really did. But it pays the bills. More often than not, it does not pay the bills.